Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a logarithmic equation. I'll be presenting two methods, let's start with the first one. I'm going to be using the change of base formula. As you know, we have, if you have log b with base a, you can write it as log b over log a in, in, ba in any base. You can use base 10, you can use ln, pretty much anything you want. In this case, I'm going to use base 10, which is log. So I'm going to write this as log x over log 2 equals log 4 over log x. And my goal is to solve for x, so let's go ahead and cross multiply. We get log x quantity squared equals log 2 times log 4, which I can write as 2 times log 2. From here, I get 2 times log 2 squared. Now, I want to be able to solve this equation by square root rooting both sides. And if I do, I get two solutions. One of them is going to look like this. Log x is going to be square root of 2 times log 2. And the other solution is going to be log x equals negative root 2 times log 2. Now, if you think about moving this as a power, you can basically write this one as log x equals log 2 to the power root 2. And from here, you're going to get x equals 2 to the power root 2. So that's going to be one of the solutions. And if you actually plug it in, you're going to notice that it satisfies the equation. From the second one, we can get log x equals log 2 to the power negative root 2. And from here, x becomes 2 to the power negative root 2. So we're basically getting two solutions by using the change of base formula. Okay, now let's talk about the second method. Let's see how that works. Now the second method, let's go ahead and rewrite our original equation. We have log x with base 2 equals log 4 with base x. Okay, so these two quantities are equal. Why not setting them equal to something else like y? Okay, and don't ask why. It's just a variable, right? Okay, so from here, by using the definition of logarithms, we can say that 2 to the power y is equal to x from the first equation here. And from the second equation from here, we can say that x to the power y is equal to 4. So we got to put these two together and we can do so if we use substitution. So let's go ahead and replace x with 2 to the power y here. And that's going to give us 2 to the power y to the power y is equal to 4. Now remember, we're not solving for y, we are solving for x. But we, if we find y, then we can find x. So by using the power uh, of a power rule, this becomes 2 to the power y squared equals 4. And then 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2. This means that if the bases are equal, exponents must be equal. So y squared equals 2 is going to give us the y values. And from here, we're getting y equals root 2 or y equals negative root 2. Now, if you go back and substitute this into our first equation, now what happens if you use the second one? Well, you could get away with that as well, uh, but you kind of need to do a little bit more work on that. Maybe we can talk about it real quick. Anyways, the first equation gives us 2 to the power y equals x. So since 2 to the power y is equal to x, and I'm trying to solve for x, from here x becomes 2 to the power root 2 or 2 to the power negative root 2. And that's pretty much going to give us uh, what the solutions are. But what happens if you consider the other equation, which is x to the power y equals 4, and we, we do know that y is equal to plus minus root 2. Now in this case, if you go ahead and replace y with root 2, for example, you're going to get x to the power root 2 equals 4. Now how do you solve for x in these kinds of equations, right? Well, I can um, raise both sides to the power of 1 over root 2. And this is what you're going to be getting from here. And then uh, these two are going to cancel out, leaving us with x. So that's kind of cool. But 
On the right hand side, we can write the 2 as 2 squared. And then by multiplying the exponents, we get 2 to the power 2 over root 2. And that can be written as 2 to the power root 2. So eventually, we're going to arrive at the same answer. And the same thing goes for the negative solution. But it's just a little longer. So I like this method better. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.